and welcome to this video which is basically just showing you how you can easily take a violin uh, put it through a sequencer or a door as they like to call them now I still call them sequencers this one's Reaper and then turn it into a MIDI signal which basically means that you can control a couple of virtual synths the virtual synths I'm using on this particular um, track are the Aturia ones, the Ensonic SQ80. Bring this up for you to see. There it is in all its glory. A nice vintage synth, that one. And then, of course, the classic Jupiter 8. There she is. <clears throat> so I've got a couple of patches running on there. Patches mean sounds, basically. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to play my electric violin, but it could be an acoustic violin through a microphone. It's, it doesn't really matter this, but you do need to put headphones on, otherwise you can get a bit of feedback. So I'm going to play my electric violin, and when the sound goes into the sequencer, which is like a, a digital recorder, it's going to take that information and I'll just show you what I'm going to use with Reaper this thing here this is um, the tuning facility would you believe but it's got an extremely useful feature in that you can send MIDI from it now um, if your violin is slightly out of tune you could correct it by putting on automatic pitch correction but the trouble is I'm playing real time and it slows it down a bit so I can kind of hear an echo effect so I'm not going to use that I'm just going to use it purely as a way of creating a MIDI signal which will basically allow the synthesizers to understand what notes I'm playing on the violin so um, we'll give it a try I'm going to turn my microphone off now just out of interest I'm going to play this violin, this electric violin here. Um, I call this one the Flying V. It's one of my eBay purchases from a gentleman who made it. I think he made them all individually. Rather lovely violin. And um, yes, it is a violin. For anybody that's not sure, this is an electric violin. And I'm going to use this to create the sound source and because it's an electric violin they always sound horrible so I'm going to stick it straight through um, um, an impulse response pedal that I use I made a video about that which basically then turns it into something like an acoustic violin it sounds rather like an acoustic um, and then that will go into the sequencer so let's see how we get on Just put my headphones on first. <clears throat> Okie <Okay>, cokey. <clears throat> yeah, you can hear basically when I pluck that string, the synthesizers are responding as well. So you can hear the electric violin as well as a couple of synthesizers. <clears throat> it's best to use pads if you're playing the synths because if you use anything a bit too quick with too much attack, then often the tracking can go a little bit haywire, depending on how accurate your playing is. Anyway, this will give you a demo.
there we are so there's a little bit of echo there of course because what's happening um, I'm actually talking now and, and uh, triggering the uh, the synthesizers, so I better turn myself off here. There we are. Um, so, yeah, you get a little bit of that sort of continuing feedback because um, what actually is happening is if you're not careful, you can loop the thing too much and it can actually start to feed back. So you've just got to be a bit sensible how you use it. But this is an, it's a nice effect and it's um, well worth looking at and tinkering around with. And I think Reaper is absolutely ideal for this. You can probably do it with Ableton as well because on my copy of Ableton, I notice you've got an audio to MIDI facility. So I bet you can do this on Ableton just as well, but I haven't tried it myself. Okay, I hope this was interesting. Have fun, bye bye.